Before signing into a computer or signing up to any type of service, you're going to need to know how to make a secure password. So our learning objective today is to be able to understand some characteristics of some good and bad passwords. I did a bit of googling of some bad password examples and here's what it gave me. They're bad examples or they're bad um, passwords because um, they're really common and people use them all the time. And if they're really common, it just means people will be able to guess them really easily. Passwords are needed to prevent unauthorized access to your computer systems. They're usually the first line of defense against any type of hacker that's trying to gain access to your data without your permission. A strong password should be eight or more characters, should contain uppercase and lowercase characters, should contain numbers and symbols, and should not contain any type of personal information. Here are some examples of some good passwords. They contain eight or more characters, have uppercase and lowercase characters, contain numbers and symbols, and are completely random, meaning, you know, it's going to be very hard for someone to guess.